I really enjoy it when it turns out that like the companies they mess around with in the garage actually do watch the channel. Like that's kind of a rarity. I mean, other than like bike parts, but you know, some of the stuff we've done around here, I, you know, they send me a cool stuff and I'm like, that's awesome. That's a lot of fun. That's useful, etc. But you don't know if they're actually watching me build choppers and stuff like that, but there's a company that actually did. And I got an email from the other day. I thought it was pretty fun. They were like, you know, we apologize. We didn't know that Mrs. Monkey rides. I'm like, yeah, to be honest, I wrench on bikes all goddamn day, and she rides. She rides more than I do anymore. But anyway, that's a whole other thing. And they're like, so we sent you something a while back and didn't realize that if you're both going to rallies, you both ride motorcycles, you do all this stuff, then you should really use two. And I was like, yeah, but I would never ask for two. That That's a little, I don't know. I ain't going to do that. And that company is Cyrusher. The freaking e-bike company emailed me and said, we want to send you another one because it's not fair that you have one and the wife doesn't. I'm like, well, why didn't she keep that one and you send me a new one? I mean, come on, can the monkey get something every once in a while for him? It's not, she already took my chopper and I digress. So anyway, we got another e-bike today. Yeah, it's a mess. I know, I'm getting ready for Daytona. I just finished the chopper. So as you see, there is my e-bike. That is what I use to go to the mailbox a lot. This one's shoved up on it right now because I've been busy, okay? All right, so that one's, I use that, I put saddlebags on it. Got those on Amazon. They make them too, but I wasn't gonna bug them. So I got those on Amazon, and I use that to run to the mailbox. Uh, the wife pet puts around on it. It takes my big rear almost 30 mile an hour. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, and that's the Cy Rusher XF900. It's one of those ones that you hit the throttle, it's like a motorcycle up there, or you pedal it, and the electric motor just kicks on and goes with it big old spongy tires it's kind of a sand bike beach bike fully suspended freaking badass i love it and we'll probably do things like you know this one. Oh, speed it up! I think people think they're going to get commercials when they send me stuff, and they don't. They get me doing silly stuff. Anyway, they sent me another one, and I cut the box open. I was like, you know, I should probably make a video because I'm an idiot. But there's the front wheel. The reason why I said, you know, I would like to pick out this next one is because they have a brand new one called the That's Great. Always a noise here. But they have a brand new one called the Ranger. It's got black wheels, and it's in a color that's similar to what this guy is going to be when I finish it. So you got to match, right? I mean, you know. So let me go ahead and pull the styrofoam out and we'll see this crazy new color. Uh, it's upside down. <laughs> I just put the box down so it's cutting open. But as you can see, it's a wild kind of green, which is what that guy is going to be. If you haven't seen that video, that bike's going to be radioactive green, which is kind of like that. So, all right, let me turn the camera off, pull this out of the box, turn the right side up. And we'll look at assembly. They're really easy to put together. You can see the back wheel's already on it. It's got to throw the front wheel on. And the fork stem, which uh, comes out of the box backwards, and you flip it around. Ask me how I know, because I didn't do it right the first time, and everyone made fun of me. But, you know, such as... All life. right, so it's assembled. Sorry, the wind's blowing like crazy. Assembly's crazy easy, because the bike is so high-tech, they kind of pre-wire everything. So the only thing you have to do is throw the front wheel on, which goes like on like any other bicycle, except it's got actually a uh, you know a disc brake, so you just drop the disc between the caliper like you would anything else. And there's two bolts that go into the axle on either side. Done. Uh, the headlight goes on with a single screw right there, and then you just plug it in. There's a like a, almost like a stereo connector right there. You loosen this nut and these nuts and flip the stem around, tighten it down. Then the bar just goes here. I mean, this is the entire assembly, right? And then the bar goes here, you, and you tighten that clamp. Set this where you want it and tighten those. The tools are all included. You don't need any. Like, it comes with literally every tool you need. Uh, and then you just screw on the pedals and on, drop the seat on. That's it. Nothing back here. That's all That's all done. So the difference between this one and the other one, this one goes 20 mile an hour with you on it without pedaling. So just full electric. So how the controls, how they work is these are regular uh, gear switches, like for the cassette. I think they call that a cassette. Someone told me once. So you can shift here for your pedaling. It has no impact on the electric throttle. Does that make sense? So this only impacts what happens when you pedal, you know, the gear ratio. The electric throttle is just that right there. That is, you know, 
in and of itself. You don't have to pedal at all. You just hit the throttle and she goes. Just like an electric, little electric motorcycle. Um, if you pedal, you can go faster. So this did 20 mile an hour with me on it, electric only. And then I, I pedaled it a bit and I immediately hit like 27. So if you put some, you know, human power with it, you get quite a bit more, uh, more juice out of it. Uh, you've got electric gear. So this dict dictates how fast, not gears, I'm sorry, speed settings. So this dictates how fast it'll go on just the electric throttle. So on, let me fire it up here. It's got a color screen and everything. So, okay, PAS, it's in first speed setting. So that's like, you know, walking speed, faster, 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 and fives all the way up. So that's just your speed setting there. The odometer, I did a mile, 1.2 miles on it, just screwing around with it. Uh, your juice level, 70% in the battery still. Uh, and there's your speedometer. So it's not a touch screen, but it is a color screen. It's really cool. And then you got power button over here. Took me a while to find that. <laughs> I don't like directions. Then you got headlight on off and horn. It's got a little, little beep beep horn. This is your, uh, I don't remember, this is your front brake? Yeah, this is your front brake and this is your rear brake. So it's a little backwards. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't edit. So let's see here. I'm gonna hit the throttle. All right, and okay, so this is your rear brake, and this is your front brake. That's right, because just a minute ago, of course I had to, I uh, on the street out there, I stopped in front of my house, I held the front brake to see if I could do a burnout. And uh, it wouldn't let me do a burnout because I had the brake on. So it actually knows when the brakes are applied and won't let you put power to the rear wheel when you're applying the brakes. But I did just put my legs in front of the pedals and hold it without applying the brakes, hit the throttle, and I did spin the back tire. I was hoping to see if I saw some smoke. I didn't. I'm sure if I get enough effort for it, whatever. This may not be the video Cy Rusher wanted. It's the one they're getting. Because <laughs> I'm going to be in the mud. I'm going to be in the mud tearing this thing up and or trying to. I don't think he can because it's built like a tank. The battery in this one's a bit different. There's not like a housing on the frame that you stick it on like on the XF900. Uh, it's actually like the battery housing is part of the frame. Does that make sense? The battery goes inside the frame. And these keys um, lock or unlock the battery into it. So I just unlocked it, right? So there, now it's locked in, and I'm doing this wrong. Just, there, you take the key out. Now the battery is locked into the bike, okay? So that's why I just left the keys so I didn't lose it. Uh, you can adjust the front suspension here. I don't know all that stuff, but you can if you're a bicycle nut. You can adjust the rear suspension there. Is that air? Is that like an air? No, what is that? It, anyway, it's where you adjust it. Uh, the rear shock. The tires, I, they come, you know, with just like three or four pounds in it, so I aired them up to 20. It says a max of 30, but, I mean, 20 was fine, right? Saddle's not bad. Corbin makes bike saddles now, if you wanted to, but the saddle's actually not bad, pretty comfortable. Uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Now that we have two, we're going to have an absolute blast. Seriously, like, this is going to be a good time. If the battery were to go dead... I'll put the range and stuff up on the screen because I have to look at that on the website. But um, if the battery does go dead, <clears throat> it's still just a bicycle. You can just pedal this, you know, as a bicycle. It's a little heavy for you to just pedal it because it is got, you know, it has a motor and the battery pack and all that stuff into it. It's, it's way more intense than I would just call a bicycle, if that makes sense. Um, it's almost like a tiny electric motorcycle more than it is a bicycle being totally honest here i mean like it's just very very cool i like it a lot i like the other one too so i'll put the prices and stuff up on the screen i don't know off the top of my head they, they sent me this as a gift thank you because to the to cy rusher again because now i've got one and the wife's got one or vice versa i don't know how it'll shake out whichever one she likes is the one she'll take uh but i could see us at smoke out man <laughs> going up and down the hill in the mud having a good time maybe bopping around our campground and sturges for these because what I'm going to do is I, I can throw those in the RV or even in the bed of the truck, you know, for the journey up to South Dakota. So I would imagine you'll see us bopping around campgrounds. You know, if you had a long day on the bike, you get back to the campground, you park the motorcycle and you just jump on this guy and uh, go to the concert or whatever. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really, really cool. The tires are legit. I mean, I don't know if you can see, you know, I got bare paws for hands and these are like what you see on the beaches down here in Florida, right? So, very, very cool. The Ranger. Another reason why I chose this one is it comes in that crazy green. 
which I think I mentioned earlier is going is pretty close to the color that my Rogue Glide is going to be. So they'll match. So thanks a ton to Cyrusher again. These are exceptionally cool bicycles. If you're looking for a way around the campground, mini bikes and stuff like that, uh, this is a really good option. You know, if you're looking at buying a Honda Trail or something like that, these are about the same price range. You know what I mean? Like, and you don't have gasoline to mess with and stuff. And where I know we, we talk about electric versus gas all the time these days, I think this is a pretty practical use for an electric motor. You know, in a heavy-duty electric bike, that's pretty freaking cool. It, it really reminds you of, like, you know, the, the original generation Harleys because they were basically, hef, you know, heavy-duty bicycles with gas motors in them. You ride your feet on the peg, on the pedals, you hit the throttle, and she goes. It's, it's, it's very much like that, except this is just electric instead of uh, gas. But I don't know. I think it's really, really cool. I like it a lot. So uh, one last thing. This is where you charge it. You don't have to take the battery out to charge it. Is a, the port goes straight through the bike, so you can just plug it in there. And that comes with a charger, which I can't see at the moment. But it looks like a giant laptop charger. So, again, I will put the range up on the screen, the price and all that stuff, and I'll, and, and the link and all that stuff. But thanks so much to Cyrusher again. These are a blast. You know, I really do think if, if you've got the cash, I know it's, it's a big buy, but these are really, really cool things to have if you're into rallies or just putting around your neighborhood. So, thanks again. Love you all to death. Take care of each other. We'll talk real soon.